Hello, hello, it is Gabe again for part two of the uh, ongoing frame tutorial, taking you kind of from scratch all the way up to the creation of a really cool frame. In the first episode, just a quick review, we went to learn.framevr.io, went through the two steps, made an account, picked a frame, gave it a name, and then we went into that frame, and uh, just with the link, uh, we signed in with the button at the top right, pops up this sidebar, we signed in, and we even went into the frames tab, down into the frame settings, and we saw how to change the frame environment. And I picked this uh, resort environment, which is one among many. I encourage you to pick the one that suits you. If you wanna follow along just directly with me, uh, that's okay too. So, okay, here we are. Um, what I'm gonna do next, I've, what I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna make kind of an office for the frame team. Uh, to work in. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the frame logo in this space. That's all we're really going to do in this video, but it's going to go over a few different concepts that'll be worth learning about. So the first concept is your inventory, which you can access if you're logged in. Just click the button up at the top right, and you'll see these four tabs, profile, inventory, frames, and how to. Now we've already seen that frames tab. That's where you can access your frame settings, Go to the left of that frame tab, you'll see the inventory tab. Now think of your inventory as kind of like a stash of assets that you can upload to the sidebar. It's not gonna bring them right into the frame, it's gonna bring them into your sidebar to make it easy for you to bring it into any frame that you're on, that you have permission to edit. So something like a logo for your company or school or what have you, it's a good thing to upload to your inventory because then you have it on hand, you don't need to dig through your computer, every time you wanna find it. So I've already added lots of stuff to my inventory. You just expand this dropdown, you click add, you know, whatever it is you're adding, uh, in this case, an image. So I've already got it in my images folder. And here's my logo. So once it's in your inventory, you just have to click the green plus button. It'll bring it right into frame. There it is. Okay, fantastic. Now I need to get it on the screen. I'd like to get it on the screen over there. P for laser pointer, by the way. So how do we do that? To move stuff around in frame, you need to use what's called edit mode. Now you can turn on edit mode a few ways. We've got the little icon, little pencil icon down in the toolbar, it's red. You can click it to turn it blue. And I think we also have a hot key, the U key on your keyboard, which will toggle edit mode on or off. I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna click on my image. You can see a few things pop up around it. These are little grabbers that you can use to kind of manipulate the object. Of course, you can just reach out and click and drag it, but there's only so much you can do with click and drag, right? I'm clicking and dragging it, but that's not actually putting it on that surface. Even if I drag it right here, it looks like it's on the surface, but as soon as I walk forward, you'll see that it's actually still pretty far away. We gotta get it on that, really on that surface. So there are a few ways to do it. Um, you can drag the these position arrows, like these arrows sticking out of it, you can actually drag that, like kind of backwards, and then you can drag it over. That's a little bit tedious. I'm gonna show you the quick hack to really uh, speed this up. When you click an object in edit mode, you'll see this menu pop up at the bottom left. And one of the options there for a lot of assets is snap to surface. You wanna just turn that on, and then just click on the wall where you wanna snap it, boom, and then turn off snap to surface. I sometimes forget to turn it off and then I'll click somewhere on the floor and it'll snap to the floor. So do remember to turn it off. So now it is actually on this screen, which is great. We do need it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna reach out on the corner and drag this corner and drag it nice and big. You can also click the scale buttons here in the edit menu, whichever one you prefer. It looks great. Now I'm actually just gonna grab this position to move it down, uh, to move it over and then a little bit down. And once I have it just perfect, uh, there's an option in the edit menu, lock position. And lock position is really cool because once it's locked, even if you're in edit mode and you accidentally reach out to click and drag it, it won't work because it's locked. So it's just like once you get it there and you like it, just lock it and then you don't need to worry about accidentally grabbing it. If it turns out you do wanna grab it later, just unlock it and you'll be able to just fine. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. Again, pretty basic. All we've done is just start to sort of brand our, the space a little bit. 
Uh, I brought in the frame logo because I'm making a frame office for the team, but I introduced you to the inventory, um, adding images in there and then bringing them into your frame. We've talked about edit mode. Uh, we've talked about snap to surface, and these are all super important things that we'll be using in videos uh, in the future of the series. Okay, so good luck. I encourage you bring in your own logo, bring an image uh, and try to snap it to a surface and then lock it there. I'll see you in the next video.